Dagger. You wish to return to active duty. You have recovered from your wounds? Yes, Lord Dark. Are you sure? I see your face is still disfigured. Yes, I left it that way to remind me of my defeat in the hands of Blade. Blade is no longer your concern. What? But sir, you must allow me to terminate him. You must! Ah, revenge. So that's your motivation. Very well. I shall give you another chance to finish him. Do not fail me this time, Dagger. <laughs> Grab it. Deal the cards. I'll get you this time. Deal me out. I've had it. Come on, deal. What do you have left to bet? I've got something very special. A rare antique watch. Wow, that's a cool looking timepiece. You just give me a chance to get even, lad, and I'll bet this watch against everything you've won so far. Okay, Mac. You got yourself a card game. Blade, it's time that I filled you in on our mission. The entire Earth has been covered with these mysterious plants. It all started when the Venomoid spider crabs attacked us. The spider crabs destroyed anything that got in their way, leaving behind a strange vegetation. How did the aliens plan to use them? Earth to Blade, haven't you heard a word I've said? The world is coming apart at the seams, don't you even care? Hey, what do you expect me to do about it? That's simple, Blade. Look, what do you want? To be a loner for the rest of your life? The Space Knights are a team. Are you with us or not? With you? Yes. No. I could never be a member of the Space Knights. I have to fight the Venomoids by myself. By yourself? Star, I'm the only one who would have a chance against them. Go on ahead, I'll watch your back. This test should determine the molecular cohesion factor. You all right? <laughs> what is it? The people. There were families here. The Venomoids destroyed their homes. They're all gone. Star? Is there anything I can do? All right, Mac, I'll take three cards. I'm telling you, I just don't trust that Blade dude. I mean, your boyfriend. He is not. Blade is the sensitive, caring, strong, silent type, that's all. And if he happens to be attracted to intelligent, quick-witted, ravishing redheads, who can blame him? Now then, let me see. Mm, I'll take five cards, please. Yeah, I suppose Blade is perfect for a girl like you. Got that right. Well, I still don't trust him. Well. There are a lot of things we don't know about Blade. Uh, two for me. Yeah, he's right. A lot they don't know. <laughs> 
Well, I'm looking forward to getting to know him a whole lot better. Hey, knock it off, Maggie. We're trying to play cards here. Okay, guys, what do you got? Three queens. Huh? I've got three kings. Oh. Three twos. <laughs> Hold it. How easy does it there, Ringo, my lad? Three kings beats three twos, you know. <laughs> Read them and weep. Oh, no, drat. That's a joker. Well, looks like you got a loser, Mac. Got that right. Who knows, buddy? Maybe next time. But I gotta warn you, I try to make a habit of winning. Unlike that blade. Quiet. Honestly, Ringo, you and your big mouth. He's standing right over there. He'll hear you. Blade, we're having a card game. Come on and join us. Save your breath, Maggie. It's a waste of time. My dear sweet Blade. Do you see what I mean? You know, I feel kind of sorry for the lad. Let's play cards. Right. Let's do it. A penny for your thoughts. Huh? A penny? What's a penny? I don't really know. It's an old expression. Sorry if I'm interrupting. I was too excited to sleep. It's not every day I get into the battle zone. <sighs> you worried? Oh, not a bit. You shouldn't worry about what Ringo said. It'll all work out. <laughs> it's spectacular, all right. But don't you think you ought to get some sleep, Blade, instead of staring at the moon all night? I can't help it, Tina. This just might be the last time I see it. <gasps> if you were told you had to destroy me, would you be able to? What? If that's a joke, it isn't very funny. In the last battle with the Venomoids, I wasn't just losing my strength, Tina. I was losing what makes me a human being. Huh? There's a kind of time limit. For up to 30 minutes, I'm safe. I'm in complete control of my powers. But after that, the techno power takes over. I can feel my humanity slipping away. The evil that made me what I am begins to get the upper hand. I can feel darkness overwhelming me, turning me into one of them. No, Blade! I can't believe that would happen. I refuse to believe it. Listen to me very carefully, Tina. If the battle tomorrow lasts longer than 30 minutes, you've got to blast me out of the sky. You've got to tell Ringo to destroy me before I become a Venomoid monster. Understand? But, Blade, I... Promise me! Uh, I promise. Wait a minute, Blade. Let me get this straight. You lost your memory, but you know how to operate a computer? Yeah, I guess so. You know, there's a series of examinations we could run on you that might just help you regain some knowledge of your past. It'll take some time, but it might be worth it. And who knows, Blade, you might be able to remember everything. Could be. I sure hope so. Well, never fails. I just get started and some fool calls a meeting. Anyone monitoring this, please help! Can anyone out there hear us? Trapped in chem plant number six! C can't hold out much longer! Spider- This transmission was just picked up on an emergency band. That chemical plant is in the space ring. That means there are still survivors there. You really think so? There are lots of places to hide there. It's a big place, you know. I'm sending you on a rescue mission. We cannot allow any of our people to fall into the hands of the aliens. Mac? How long will it take you to install a laser cannon or two and wire them into the ship's guidance systems? No time at all. Been wanting to do that for a while now. Yeah, it's about time, sir. Hey, Ringo. Take care of my watch. I'm gonna win it back next time. Yeah, right. All systems go preparing for launch. Which, according to my beautiful brand new watch, should be right about now. Launch window is optimum. Blade may be the only one who can help us now. I wonder how many of our people were able to survive the attack. It's strange that we didn't hear an SOS before this. They've been up there quite a while. You're right. It is strange. 
But the message said there were a lot of them. Run a scan to find the nearest docking port to us, Star. Port 6, two clicks to starboard. Blue Earth, Blue Earth, we've just lost the signal from the space ring. Are you still tracking? It was cut off. We're just about to go in. Be careful. We will. Hold it, Ringo. The airlock isn't responding. Yeah, well, I know the secret knock. Stay here. I'm gonna go in by myself. What are you talking about, Blade? I'm going with you. Darkon could send his crabs against us at any time, and I'm the only one equipped to handle that. Going in alone doesn't make sense. You can't go in there without any backup. There's nothing to worry about. Just stay here and be ready to lift off. I didn't join the Space Knights to be a glorified chauffeur, but hey, if you want to take all the risks, go right ahead. But listen, Blade. Make sure you leave your channel open so we know what's going on in there. I'll stay in touch. And if you run into any evil techno men, tell them they'd better behave themselves or your chauffeur will run them over. That wasn't funny. Oh, so you're a critic now. Blade, what's happening in there? Just outside the chem plant. No signs of life at all so far. Copy that. Be careful. Ah, come on. Why should he be careful? If he's attacked, he can just pull out that magic crystal and transform into Technoman, Defender of the Realm. Oh, come on, Ringo. Give it a rest, will ya? Hello? Is anyone there? Call out if you can hear me. Is anyone in there? There's no answer. I'm going to run an atmospheric check now. Breathable. Is anybody there? Can anybody hear me? We're here to help you. <laughs> huh? Thanks for coming, Blade. I knew that you would. Dag, so there are no survivors, are there? Maybe. But I wouldn't count on it. Especially after I get rid of you. <gasps> what is it, Star? Is Blade all right? Has he found any trace of the survivors? His transmission is breaking up. It sounds like he's having a conversation with someone down there. But about what? It was you who sent the SOS, wasn't it? Why, naturally, it was by far the easiest way to get you here, after all. But you won't be here for long, Blade! Dagger, no! <laughs> the ruin of a face you left me. Now you shall pay for it. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Techno power! It's not working! Oh no, it was a trap! There weren't really any survivors! It's Dagger! You're trapped, Blade. Struggle if you like. You'll only make it worse. <laughs> it's no use, Blade. I've planted spectrum disruptor crystals all around us, which, as you see, render your crystal quite useless. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> I beat you. Finally, you're mine. But don't think it's all over yet, Blade. I intend to make you suffer for what you've done to me. What is it, Star? Just before his signal cut out, it sounded like something was wrong with Blade, like... like he couldn't transform. What? Go ahead and run, Blade. You cannot run forever. <sighs> Where are you, Blade? Here's disruptor crystals. I won't be able to transform until I get away from them. Blade! Come in, Blade! Go ahead, Star. Are you all right? What's happening in there? I'm safe for now. 
but Dagger could find me at any moment. Has he injured you? No, but he's keeping me from transforming. What? How can he do that? By using Spectrum Disruptor Crystals. They're all over the space station. I'm going outside. No, don't! Negative, return to the ship, now! Now I've got you! Ah! Put me down! You're going down, all right, for good, for humiliating me, and for betraying Darkhawk. His comlink signal just disappeared. All right, that's it. Let's move. No, not without him. Didn't you hear what Blade said? He said he could fight if he could get outside the outer shell of the orbital station. Get a fix on his last coordinates. And we'll use a few blasts from the laser cannon to help him get where he wants to go. Fire all thrusters. Taking a break so soon, Blade? Time to say goodbye, old friend. Blade, do you read me? Come in, come in! I wonder why he's not answering anymore. Huh? Time to check out these pea shooters Mac installed. Talk to me. Go. Oh. Hurry up, airlock. Come on. Out of my way! That door is not gonna hold for long. This is gonna be tight. Techno power! Oh no! Ah! Our main reactors are burning up! We're going in anyway! Yeah! Ah! They've destroyed the disruptor beam! Ah! Ah! I've got to transform right now! So, you are still more powerful than I thought, but you haven't won. You think you have escaped, but you shall soon see what the Disruptor has done to your precious crystal. We're close to Redline. If we hit the stratosphere at this speed, we'll never make it. I gotta find a way to slow this baby down. Rico, look! Huh? I'm not sure even he can help us now. Gotta slow him down. But it's taking the last of my strength. Something wrong with my crystal. Gotta get back inside the ship. You should be able to regain control now. Blade, what's wrong? Yeah, Blade, you don't look so hot. Never mind that. Dagger's still out there. I've got to go back. Are you nuts? That's crazy. Ringo, turn the ship around. Now! I can't do that. The reactors are barely functioning. Hey, what's the matter with you? You expect me to sacrifice this ship so you can get one guy? But... Besides, I... you're in no shape to fight. It's... The crystal is damaged. Tearing me apart! Ah! My crystal, it's been shattered. It's useless. Without it, I can't transform into Techno Man. But you haven't beaten me yet, Dagger! I'll find a way to defeat you. You and Darkon. Somehow, I'll find a way. Speaking of timing, look who just arrived. Oh, too bad you weren't here. You missed a great show. Star was terrific. That's nice. But I just finished up with Commander Jameson. So, have you decided to stick around for a while? Of course he is. He can't leave now. We're just getting to know each other. Tina, he doesn't have to stay here if he doesn't want to. Well, I think it would be great if you stuck around. We could use some new blood around here. Thanks. Making me your friend isn't a very good idea. The people I get close to don't seem to live very long. What happened to you, Blade? What could have hurt you so much? Oh, I don't know, Mac. Everyone is trying to talk me into staying. So? 
I don't understand. What's the problem? I don't know. Come on, lad. You have a terrific group of people welcoming you with open arms, but you're not sure you want to stay? It's not the people. I don't know. It's just... I can't explain it. What's the worst that could happen if you stay? All of us might start caring about each other. If you ask me, it sounds like a risk worth taking. Hmm. Commander, I hold you responsible for the loss of the Technoman. It wouldn't have happened if you turned him over to me. I do accept the responsibility, but may I remind you that I am answerable only to civilian authority, not to you gentlemen of the military. Really? I wouldn't be so sure of that if I Sit were you. Sit down. It's still not too late. Give him to us and we still might be able to salvage him. My crew is quite capable of salvaging the Technoman. The Space Knights have a tradition of solving our own problems. Whatever we begin, we finish, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Good morning, Commander. Good morning, Tina. How's work progressing on the Technobot? Well, sir, to be honest, Mac and Maggie have their hands full. It's a pretty tall order. It is indeed. Tell them to keep at it. We're under the gun on this one. 